It may have started with the death of Michael Brown, but it didn't end there. Let's take a look back at how that fateful day in August and the events that followed forever changed how we talk about race and police conduct in the United States. It may have started with the death of Michael Brown, but it hasn't ended there. Nearly four months after that fateful day in August and the social unrest it provoked, anticipation about a grand jury's decision on whether to indict Officer Darren Wilson or not has an entire community on the edge of its seat. We are all working together and working very sincerely to ensure that in the days ahead that we can preserve peace and maintain public trust. Fear that a non-indictment could provoke riots and violence has motivated businesses in Ferguson to board up their windows and gun sales in the St. Louis area to skyrocket. As Missouri Governor Jane Nixon maintains the state of emergency in a time of peace, residents speculate that a decision has already been made. I feel like they already know that Darren Wilson is not going to be indicted on the murder of Mike Brown. I just feel like they're just preparing themselves for the worst. And they, they're just preparing for it. You see all these police officers with riot shields and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Why they got to have riot shields and we ain't got nothing? Is we, is we walking the streets with AKs? We ain't walking the streets with AKs. What they got tanks for? With each passing day, the Ferguson police station and the site where Michael Brown was killed have both become focal points of a cat and mouse game between police and protesters, leading to nightly arrests. But despite the building tension, more experienced community members have little hope for change. To be honest with you, I really don't know because it's been unjust for me for a while. And that's all I really know. What will happen once the grand jury's verdict is announced remains to be seen. One thing that's certain, though, is that Ferguson and the entire country have already changed forever. Alexandra Hall, Ferguson, Missouri, Telesur.